Hey guys, so in the previous tutorial we went through how to put lipstick on a pig, essentially. Take some some garbage, right? It's it's an output mesh from a weird plugin you've ever seen before and, and sort of you know make it make it legible. Uh, we've done that now, uh, which is great. So what we'll be doing today, well tonight or right now, is generating a real basic kind of grid, not grid, like structural system within this mesh that like, um, the idea is there'll be some, um, like a, a lattice structure that'll look a bit, you know, abstract and hopefully support this when we get to the end. Um, so what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm actually going to, because this is a testing phase, like I just want something that to show you. Um, there's a thing called Voronoi Fill which is in a plugin called Crystalon, which is very good at generating uh, lattice geometries. So for things that need lattices inside them, i.e. this mesh, it's perfect. Um, so, uh, up. so what I'm gonna do, is, what is this? This fill volume with randomized Voronoi cells. All right, so it does that, but it does it, it's, it's, it does a bit more intricately than I think it's a Voronoi 3D. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to geometry to fill this mesh. Uh, number of initial points, I don't know. This is something for you to play with. I'm going to go about, I don't know, 75. Uh, no, we'll go 101 and then we'll bring it back to about that. Cool. Um, uh, UA, use a tractor. Not going to use an attractor. Not going to have any attractor geometry. Magnitude of random filtering against Voronoi random thing, uh, zero, I don't know. I don't really know what this does, but I had some settings I had made before and that, I don't know, that did the thing, it didn't really do much. Number of filtered points, maybe we'll do, I don't know, 21 and we'll see what it looks like. Uh, enable Voronoi's list, if true Voronoi's will be generated, well, we'll see how that goes. Uh, something's coming out. But are we getting any curves? No, we should be getting some curves soon. Um, oh, you know what? I think I have to uh, enable this. Oh, and there we go. 1.4 seconds, that's okay for what we're doing. Uh, and then I think we want to trim lattice again. We got a trim lattice with a closed volume. So essentially, this is like a lattice that comes out, and it's yeah, you know, look, oh, Vorano cells, real, real fucking creative. Um, we're just gonna trim that with this, and that will take a little bit to load, but automatically, like, there we go. There's there's something of a of a lattice structure which is great. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to assume that I'm getting garbage geometry out from, let's have a look. Oh, what are these ones there? Okay. There, there's some shit. Lattice curves have been trimmed and then lattice curves that haven't been trimmed. Typically roots curves of aliens one. Okay. All right. Oh, well, there's some, there's some things. Cool. It's good to know that they're there. Um, Awesome. We'll just take both of those for now. We want to, you know, should we generate some garbage geometry for ourselves. Uh, what I'm going to do is remove duplicate uh, lines. I'm pretty sure this is a Karumba one and it, uh, a kangaroo one. Uh, remove duplicate lines. Oh, that's a header up. Either way, this is kangaroo. We we'll use this one. Uh, 446 goes to 445. Okay, there weren't that many duplicates, which is great. Um, so let's just uh, mesh pipe. Let's have a look at some of this stuff we're, we're, we're dealing with. Uh, radius of like 0.05. 
to see what that looks like. Oh yeah, it's good enough. Um, but what are we, what should we have? Segments, we don't want 10, we want five. There we go. So segments just means, you know, it'll generate mesh pipes, but they'll be a bit, you know, nicer. Um, sorry, quicker. So I don't know, we've got this weird kind of structure at the moment. Um, kind of get the idea of what it is. It's an abstract structural system, right? Pretty, it's pretty, it's, you know, it's not great. It needs a lot of refinement. Um, and I've kind of got, it's a, it's all right, but it's a bit shit. So what I'm gonna do is, I'll probably like pause the video now. So I'm gonna go back and I'm going to uh, regenerate this a bit more and see if I get something better. So I'm just gonna disable that for now. And the good thing is, this workflow is set up so that I can come back and uh, tinker with this. I'm just going to disable you. Um, I'm just going to lift that one higher actually. Maybe that one closer just for now. And what I'm going to do is 15. Yep. And let's have a look. And away we go. 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 All right, guys. Optimization is nearly done. I think it is done. Let's have a look what we got. Cool. And let's see uh, what our what kind of structure we get out of it now. Again, it's it's very similar to something we've seen before. Oh, there we go. Oh. Oh, okay, there's a little bit of weird innards there. Can you see that one there? We just fix that. I'm just turning that off just because. Oh, uh, oh no. Um, oh, yeah. Just going to reconstruct this mesh without the colors so I can see the hollows in it. Don't really want them. And if it's bigger, that'll do for now. Oh. Okay, here we go. Cool. We've got a yeah. What I essentially what I wanted was just a lot more sticks, <laughs> and I've got it. Cool. So here we go. The end. A whole lot of sticks, and we can see that some of them, um, some of them are. Oh, they, well, a lot of them are connected together. Some of them won't be though. So like, we're just gonna in the next video we're gonna go through and cull a few of them. Cheers.